Hi, my name is Yasu from Japan, and then in my video, I drink sake, and then in introduce Japanese sake in both Japanese and then English because I want more people to drink sake because it's tasty and then fun. And then in my video, in my channel, when I drink sake, I do hito rigoto, which means talking to myself. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> So yeah, today I'm drinking this one. Um, name of the sake called Cold. I think it's six five one three. Made by one of my favorite uh, Japanese sake brewery called Shu Shiraito Shuzo in Fukuoka Prefectures. The sake that they produce. The name of the sake is called Tanaka Rokujugo. Amazing sake, so I'm really excited to try this one. And then, while I'm drinking this one, I'm going to talk about. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been able to say yes to uh, warm comments and then the DMs. On my YouTube channel, or like in Twitter, or like the Instagram, asking me to have like dinner or sake or you know drinks with them, uh, I haven't been able to say yes to those requests yet. Hopefully, yet. So I'm gonna talk about why and then why it's been like that. But anyway, cheers. So for the first of all is smell. Very clean, um, very quiet, sweet uh, smell. <laughs> um, the flavor is like water. It's very, very light. Um, I can taste the good flavor of Yamada Nishiki rice. Oh, they actually use the Yamada Nishiki rice from Itojima. I think it's an it's an island, probably. I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I'm just guessing based on the kanji. So like the I can taste the Yamada Nishiki rice, but it's not heavy. And then there is a bitterness. It's one of the signature flavor of Yamada Nishiki rice, which I like. But overall, like the flavor is really light. Texture is very, very. There is no particular texture of this sake. It's too smooth <laughs> for me. Um. So. If you are not really good at the strong alcohol, if you're looking for something very light, um, no heavy particular flavor or texture, then I think this sake should be a good one, especially for the beginners because very simple, very light, very clean. But I, I've been drinking a lot of sake, <laughs> so this is. I feel something is not. Yeah, it's not really satisfying me. <laughs> it's a good sake, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah. I, I've been drinking a lot, so I've known a lot of things, and then this is one of the disadvantage that. When I know a lot of things, it's becoming harder and harder for me to feel satisfied. That's not a good thing. But anyway, so yeah, um, on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and then you know this YouTube channel, time to time, uh, people ask me. Or if I go to Japan, I want to have a drink with you. Or like, um, some 
people ask me to、uh, have dinner with them, and which is a very nice gesture, and I feel very connected. And part of part of me, I want to do it, but the other part of me, I feel hesitated, hesitated. And then, usually, when I respond to those, you know, request, I say when, and then they pick days, and then I always say that, oh, I'm sorry, I already made the reservations at the restaurant that I have to go, so some other time, and then that's really true because、uh, I don't have that many hobbies. But one of the hobby that I do, which probably you can tell, especially if you see my Instagram, is that I love dining out on weekends, and I always make reservations in advance. So I'm really pretty much booked in the usually in the next one month or two months because. I I really love trying those fine dinings or like the good yakitori restaurants that hard to get the reservations. So when people ask me that, oh, can we have dinner on March? I respectfully, you know, decline saying I'm sorry. I made a reservations at the restaurant, so I cannot really go. That's really really true, and if you see my Instagram. You can tell that that's really true, but I cannot deny the fact that I feel hesitated when people ask me online, because、um, when when I make plans with my friends, I always make reservations at the restaurants, and when I make a reservations. I don't want to cancel it because, of course, I because I want to try the restaurants. But the other reason is that、um, when the restaurants accept my reservations, and then other people try to make a booking booking at the restaurant after me, if there's no seats, they need to decline. But what if I cancel my reservations in a very last minute? Then they would have、uh, opportunity lost. Of course, for my reservations, for those reservations that they decline because I made the reservations. And then, if I make a reservations for dinner with my friends, I know most of the times I don't have to cancel. And even if something happens and I have to cancel, my friends, I feel confident that they would tell me in a very in advance, so that, you know, I feel bad, but I really tell the restaurants that I need to cancel them,、uh, way before the reservation day, so that hopefully they have enough time to feel my cancellations for other customers. But if I make plans with people from online whom I never met, and then I make a reservations at the restaurants, and it somehow I wouldn't be able to、um, confirm whether those people really show up or not. You know that idea makes me feel very uncomfortable. So, so far. I haven't been able to say yes to any of people's request. So yeah, but I I love to get to know new people. So maybe this year, as my first step, what I'm what I'm trying to do is that. It, it seems to be like there are a lot of like the、uh, sake events outdoor in Tokyo, so if I might say that oh I'm going to this event and I hope to see people there, and then I find probably maybe I get to see you guys there, or 
If someone asks me to meet up from online, and I might say that, oh, I'm planning to go to this sake festival, uh, let's meet up there, let's drink sake there, and then that could be more uh, comfortable way for me to for me to meet people from online at the actual physical in like face-to-face -face situations so yeah that's the reason why I've been saying no to those requests so far but anyway this is sake channel and then this one is really the beginner I think it's really for the beginners it's a good sake very light but still it's made out of the Yamada Nishiki rice you can enjoy the Yamada Nishiki flavor and then the little bit bitterness and then it's so light no texture so I feel like something is not enough for me but I think for most of the people it's really enjoyable so please try and then uh, if there's any sake that you recommend please let me know and for this year I'm trying to hit 1000 subscribers as my new year's resolution so please subscribe to my channel so for now take care Jane, bye bye